Hi everyone, it's great to see you. So today I've got something really special for you. That is a full tutorial and install guide and download link to the latest Richard Burns Rally 2020 WRC version. This is version 3.7. Now this pulls together hundreds of hours of work by this amazing community in Richard Burns and also hundreds of hours of work by Shamak and I've got all of his link in the description below to download this and you can play this awesome game and I cannot believe this game came out in 2004. Just look how good it looks. I'm also going to go through what you actually get in the game, how it works, how to set it up and especially some of the great gameplay when you're playing on the full rally. So a little bit of a history lesson for those that don't know Richard Burns Rally. This came out to critical acclaim in 2004 and obviously it was based on the awesome Richard Burns who was world champion, world rally champion and sadly passed away in 2005. This game features 8 cars and 36 courses and it was released on the PlayStation 2, the original Xbox and obviously on Windows. When it was released it was the toughest most realistic rally sim that you could drive and that is still the case today. I was driving this with my Fanatec on my Aeon sim rig and it was shaking the whole rig. This has got some awesome feedback and it is a very very tough drive. I would say this is a tougher drive than Dirt Rally 2 and that's saying something. Warthog who developed the game were actually sold and a number of other businesses have owned the rights to Richard Burns Rally but now because of the age it is classed as abandonment wear and there is a vibrant modding community. The original game didn't come with mods and actually one of the developers actually designed some of the tools so you can mod this game. I want to give a massive shout out to the whole community for putting all of these mods together to make WRC 2020 possible and Shamek who has put this version together and put hundreds of his own hours in is absolutely not asking for donations and this is all just for the passion and love of rallying. Let's get on to the install process then. If you click on the link below and download the 3.5 gig file, when it's extracted, this is what you will get. But the first thing that you need to do is you need to go and find this richardburnsrally.ini file. Now this is the um, INI file and the config file for Richard Burns Rally. And what we need to do is right click on it, open it, and just click on notepad and open that up. So what we need to do in here is we need to change it to full screen and we also just need to change the resolution. Now I've actually already changed it in here but I'm just going to show you where to do it. So the first thing is that there is a full screen piece here so full screen equals true. If you don't have that on true then you won't get full screen so that's the first thing to do. That needs to be on full screen equals true. The second thing is obviously this was designed from much older PCs. So these two bottom values here, this X res and Y res, you need to change to 1680 and to 1050. I find that works really well. Once you've done that, make sure you save as well. So you're just saving this any file back into the main location. And when you've done that, then you can run Richard Burns Rally. I actually use this Richard Burns Rally SSE. So we just double click on that and then you'll see it come up full screen. There's a small video that comes up to begin with and you can see how old this is on the quality of the video and the sides. That is the amazing Richard Burns. So just press escape. And then here I'm just loading up my profile so you can actually download and install different profiles for yourself. So what do you get? Well you get Rally School, Quick Rally, a Rally Season, you get Online Multiplayer, you get the Richard Burns Challenge, you get a Driver Profile which I've just spoken about and Options, Credits and Exit, they all make sense. So let's just have a quick look what we've got here. Rally School is a little bit like the Gran Turismo Challenges to get you up to speed on driving this game and I'm going to show you in a little while how tough this game is actually to qualify to do the full rally. You've also then got Quick Rally. So as you can see, you've got all of the different countries around the world and this just gives you access to one of those tracks just to be able to jump in a car and drive straight away around those. That's really good fun. I would very much advise though that you do the rally school before you do any of those just to get to grips with the handling. I'll go over the rally season later but the multiplayer just allows you to play on multiplayer online so that's something you can look into. The Richard Burns challenges are more advanced challenges that you can try out when you've got to grips with the handling on the game and of course then you've got your driver profile so you can have multiple different drivers set up on here with different controller settings etc. One of the things we get used to in modern games is the amount of options you get. You do not get that many options in this game because obviously this is quite an old game. One of the main ones will be controller setup so make sure you really take your devices. Here you can see I've not got my wheel plugged in but it did connect to my Fanatec wheel absolutely fine so I think you'll be fine on all the wheels. You will have to set it up manually though so that's a big shout out for that. 
Obviously audio, you can change all sorts of different things here. You can see I've got the replay music off, uh, for instance. And of course, this game has full pace notes as well. So this is all bundled into the game and the pace notes work really, really well on this game. In fact, the whole game hangs together very well with all these mods. You can change anything on your gears as well. So you can have some clutch help, for instance, on there. Um, and then obviously you can reset to default settings. You've also got all the plugins here that are installed on these mods. So you can see you've got Fix Up, Pace Note, NGP6 on here. You've got the RBR Tournament, etc, etc. So again, lots for you to explore and to play about with. To start off with then in Rally School, it's all very simple. Driving around some cones in a car park, but it very quickly advances. Do you remember this has got NGP6 physics that Shamak has done a ton of work on and really all the community have brought these mods together to make this a very drivable car. It is not easy to go around this track, it is definitely a simulation. Teach you how to brake safely and decisively from high speed to a standstill. There are also braking challenges and you realise this is integral to how you're going to drive on Richard Burns Rally. You'll learn how to take a long series of corners as quickly as possible. And of course taking the right line into corners and braking and acceleration points are vitally important and this game really brings that together to make you drive well. And then to show how difficult this game is, this is the final test to pass before you get access to the full rally and this is me driving that test at the fastest speed I could. That was very, very tough and I don't mind telling you guys, that was not my first attempt. There was lots of attempts to get under that 1 minute 40 seconds. You're pretty good at this. I think you're ready for the next exercise. But good news, when you pass the rally school, now you can get into the main rally. So you have rookie, professional and champion and that changes the way that the game is going to play, obviously. You've also got different types of car damage which really do affect the way that the car drives. And then these are the three cars or teams that you get access to to begin with and that's the Ford M Sport team, the VW Motorsport team and the Skoda Lotus Rally team. There are other cars that, and teams that come available as you go through the rally stages um, but they're the first ones now. As you can see these are all really up to date so these are all from the 2019 and the 2020 season. When you start the season you can test on the yard, test on the stage, there's a lot of tuning options as well and again this is really realistic driving. So we have the USA, Great Britain, France, Finland, Japan and Australia. And here we are at the beginning at the Rally of Gateshead. Let's take a look around the full rally section then. So here you can see the competitors that we've got around us actually on the rallies. So we've got the Toyota Gazoo team, we've got the Citroen racing team, a couple of Ford M Sport teams, the Volkswagen Motorsport team, Hyundai and Skoda Lotus rally team. And if you look on the right hand side as we go through these, you'll see these are all modern cars and these are all the modern drivers as well. So a fantastic piece of work here by Shamek to put all of these together in this one package. And do remember guys, the download link is in the description below and it is one download to get this installed and to start to play this, you'll be up and running in less than five minutes. Now that we've looked at the competitors that are on show, let's have a look at the tracks. So all of these tracks are in the game and ready to drive and these are the UK tracks here tracks like Harwood Forest and Falstone. So I'm not going to talk you through all these, but I am just going to cycle through them just so you can see the different tracks in the different countries.
I'm sure you'll agree guys, there is a lot of content in here and a lot of tracks to get good at. All of these tracks are very difficult to drive. So once we're actually going to start the rally, then you can choose your setup. And as you can see here, I've got some basic setups that are installed. So I'm just going to choose the default setup, which is gravel, dry gravel. But as soon as I jumped on this rally, I found out that that was probably the wrong thing to do because it was raining. But this is the start of the rally. And you can see on the right hand side here, you've got all of the people in the rally. And you can see it cycles through the different times that people are going to start. And then it's your turn to actually start on the rally. Jumping into the Skoda then, on the start line you can see how good the graphics are. This is a 2004 game guys and it's got rain on it, it's got reshade on it, it's got all the custom animations and it looks great. Even now in 2021 this looks great. I must give another call out to all of the modders that have put so much work into the mods that have gone into this and Shamek for the time and effort he has done in creating this WRC 2020 mod with the upgraded physics etc. Big shout out to all those guys. I would genuinely say this is one of the best rally experiences that I have driven on any console or any PC game. So let me give you a little bit of tour of some of the other tracks that you will be driving on. And here you can see we're driving in jungles, we're driving in desert and we're also driving in snow. Absolutely awesome. And the camera angles are fantastic as well. I particularly love the TV camera that's in the helicopter. Fantastic. So just to stress again guys, this tutorial on how to get this up and running and this walkthrough is on the back of the free download link that's in the description below. So if you click on that download link, it's three and a half gig, extract it, follow the instructions at the beginning of the video and you will be able to look at all of this awesome work that Shamek has put together. Something else just to re-emphasize is that Shamek has put this together not to make money, he's not looking for donations, he has done this for the love of rally. And when somebody produces an item as good as this, then we all can enjoy it. So I hope you guys do download it and you do enjoy it. I will be honest, I had never played Richard Burns Rally apart from when it first came out a long, long time ago. This has been a revelation to me. And again, this is one of the best rally experiences I've had on any game, on any console or the PC. I will also just stress again guys that this is a full rally simulation. The way that the physics work with the ground, the gravel and as you can see some of my really poor driving showing you how difficult it can be. To go fast in this game is very difficult. Do check out your force feedback settings as well because this really did shake my rig to pieces. And I know that's great because it's all part of the experience but you might have some adjustment there depending on what wheel that you have got. As ever guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been really special for me to cover this for Shamek. And do check out the download in the description below. And as ever, if you do like this, check out the rest of the channel. There's loads more sim racing and sim rallying. And I hope to see you soon. See you later guys.